Hello everybody, my name is Viren, and welcome to the flagship video for the Gaming Cineflix. Since this is the flagship video, I thought that I'd explain a couple of things before I got into the game that I'm about to play. First and foremost, you'll notice I'm wearing a headset and using a microphone. That's because of my profession. If I were to use the standard studio microphones that most Let's Play gamers use, uh, you would pick up a lot of background noise. The majority of the videos that I'm going to be taking are going to be from various places throughout the United States. I'm an over-the-road driver, so they will be all recorded from inside of the cab of my truck as I'm traveling throughout the United States. I'll also let you know where I'm at every single time that I start up one of these. For instance, right now I'm in Columbus, Ohio, currently waiting to uh, see a doctor because I'm coming back from medical leave. So that's why I'm not in a truck right now. So. Anyway, now that that has been uh, that has been brought up, um, I'm just going to go ahead and step right on into it. I'm new to this whole thing, all of the the YouTube channel uh, finesse, uh, being a host of any type of video streaming service, let's plays, whatever. Uh, this is the first time that I've ever done something like this, so. You can always take it easy on me. That would be appreciated. I am going to stutter because this is the first video that I've ever done. And obviously I'm nervous. Staring at a camera is a lot different when you're actually here than it is when you're watching a Let's Play gamer uh, play their games. So I apologize in advance for the lack of uh, technology that I have at my disposal. But if... If I were to use a studio microphone, you would hear the truck engine as it starts up and shuts down. It does that, and it idles the way that it does, because I need either heat in the winter, or I also need to stay cool in the summer. So, it's for comfort. Uh, it's the most efficient that my truck could potentially be. So... I'm just going to go ahead and get into this. This game is called Illusion. I have played it through it already. Um, I actually helped my friend who made the game find a lot of grammatical errors because when you start up the game, some of the first warnings that come up states she's not from like she's not from the United States and English is not her native language. So, with that, I've gone through the game already. Uh, and it's not going to be a standard let's play when it comes to the content, I suppose, either. This is going to be more informative than anything. I'll let you know what to do in certain areas. I'll also be uh, reciting all of the text from the characters, so you don't have to read it all. Um, without further ado, this is Illusion. Warning. Taking this game seriously sometimes may cause your brain to explode. Don't wonder why and how a few things happened. Just let them happen. Therefore, this is a game where everything is possible, but where it could also be fake. This game may slightly contain a few grammar mistakes. English is not her mother language, but for all I know, is that it is totally understandable. The soundtrack of this game may not be the best. I really did try my best with it. I have never had anything to do with music at all, but trying wouldn't cost me anything. That's a very interesting point. This entire game, down to the basics, the sound, the visuals, the pictures, the drawing in the background that you see underneath my image in the top corner, Everything here has been created by her. There is no uh, no external help for the most part, except for folks like me who've gone through to help try and weed out some uh, some mistakes in the game. There's probably going to be a couple more. I most likely didn't get absolutely everything, but I also tried my best to. Uh, I'd like to try and figure out if there are any other mistakes going through with this one as well. So, 
the music, I will have to say this as well, it's very fitting for what this game is. Uh, it really sets the mood, and she did a wonderful job with the music. It is possible that this game could be sensitive to certain people, as it contains a small amount of violence, blood, and aggression. This game contains not too much strong language, but I suggest you be 13, eight, uh, the age of 13 or older to play it. Again, as you probably could have seen in the first couple of seconds of the game, um, there is some language, and it happens periodically throughout, and sometimes it's censored comically, because the game itself is like a, it's a comedy, but it's also very serious in its own way as well. So, here we go. Next. Yes, I did. Alright, you must, otherwise the game will not keep the save data. Warning, do not play this game if you have photosensitive epilepsy or if you are susceptible to a seizure. That's also true. There are a lot of flashing lights, so if you do have epilepsy or are susceptible to a seizure, please, I will see you in the next video. I don't want anyone to be watching this and because it does have a lot of crazy, trippy, awesome things going on. So... Uh, if that does apply to you, please, 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 please turn off the video, and I will see you in the next video. You've been warned. About three times now, so. If you're watching now, that's your fault. Continue, yes. Yes. <laughs> Hey, darling. How have you been? This is my adoptive dad, Monzer. He's a magician. It's not called Magic City because of my dad, though. It's the city where everything is possible, but you have to be careful because it may be fake. <laughs> nice to meet you, player! And welcome to Magic City! Oh, thank you, Monzer. This is our second house. We live far away from here. It's because it's been five years since we have been here. Hey, Nawi. If you don't mind, could you get me the magic flower from the garden? The flower finally grew. Sure. Well, let's get my dad that flower. That flower has been growing for three years. All right, the exit is over here, but I'm going to do a little bit of exploring of the house. My dad reads a lot of books. I don't feel like going to sleep or going to the kitchen. Open the door. Yes. This is what I was talking about, too, the, uh, just the ambiance of the entire game, that kind of a magical, there's these waterfalls that just come down from seemingly the heavens, nowhere, uh, and the way that she did the music in the background is just, it really complements that. Alright, the first thing here, it's very easy to miss because it kind of blends in with the background. The flower is actually right here. You found a flower. You can view it in your items. I, the first time I played through the game, I kind of missed that too. But it does blend in just, just a little bit. But if you continue this way, this sign here will tell you, please come back later. But you'll also see this mysterious individual. Bye! I'll see you later! Hi! Alright, let's get that flower back to Papa Monder. Open the door. Yes! Hey, 
Hello. Haha, <laughs> you found it. Thank you. There he goes. I'm excited. Shh, don't judge me. Thank you. Okay, let's go for a walk. Where are you going? It's 10.35 p.m. It's too late to go outside. I'll be back soon, though. I'm just gonna check something. Alright, be careful. The sooner you come back, the better it is. This is a really neat thing, too. I really like the way that this is done, and I'm not sure if it's been done anywhere else. That's a save point. It's a floating hat that just kind of moves around like a character, but you go up to it and you save. So, let's go. Get back here. There we go. This is the save menu. It will appear randomly. Always save to the right file. We're going to go over file one. As I said, I've been through this before. I'm also going to try and get the ending that I didn't get the first time, so... Uh, you have been warned, I suppose. Hello! Very convenient little arrows. Hi! Who are you? Hello! My name's Noara. It's... Is there a reason you wanted to talk to me? Good question. I have no idea. I see. Well, I love talking to new people. Hmm. That's cool. I don't have many friends. Aw. Would you like to be my friend? Sure. The shop is open if that's where you want to go. Heart. But the seller sell what the seller sells is really uh lame. I disagree, but uh let's go. So pretty. Gosh. I want to live here. That would be great. That would be f fantastic. Hello, save hat. Save me. Nickety neck. No one is here. What's up? Hey, if uh, perhaps you're here for the shop over there, then sorry, it's uh, temporarily closed. All the items are sold out, but don't worry, my husband will restock soon. Oh, alright. Well, I, I didn't really want to buy anything. Not that you have money. However, there is another shop around here. But I don't think it will be of any use. But I liked it at a shop. Did you know this is called the Blue Garden? The Pink Garden is not too far. And this place isn't as lonely as it seems. Dad and I live isolated, though. This is actually the first time I've been outside alone at night. I'm not used to it at all. But, well, let's enjoy it. Now, how about we go to the shop? I haven't been there in a while. Hopefully the seller added something new. Such a peaceful little tune. What's up, guy? Don't hide. Come back. Come back. Finally, I took a break from my job. You know, being a photographer isn't that easy. Let's go knock on people's houses. Doors. Wake them all up. People are asleep. It's best if we don't wake anyone up. But I wanted to. Alright, go to the shop. to see you here. Ha! <laughs> I know. So, is there anything you'd like to buy? All the products here are, uh, just irony. You can have all of the shop for 
15,000 G, or you can have some nothing for 10 G. How can I help you? Would you like to buy everything or nothing? Unfortunately, I will be buy the actual nothing, which is no money, but sorry. I feel like going to the pink garden now. It's at our right, if I remember well. Let's go to the pink garden. What's up? Hi, I'm, uh, I'm waiting for my mom to pick me up. Since they closed the gates to the pink garden at night, I had to run fast before they did. I was celebrating my friend's birthday in it. Oh, that's cool. I really love the pink garden. I wish I could live in it. I said that about your place. Yeah, it looks really nice. But I've been waiting here forever. And my mom still doesn't come. Didn't come. I can't English today. Ah, sorry. Sorry about that. That was the wrong type of ah. Sorry. It's all right. I'll still wait for her to pick me up. That's kind of sad. Pink gardens this way. Damn it. Pink garden is locked. Oh, hi. Oh, that's okay. Not a problem. How did you get in? That should have been locked. Yeah, it should have been locked. That's a, that's concerning. <laughs> well, about that. My door is the least secure of them all. <laughs> Something is hiding behind here. Should we check? It's almost morning. I think they unlocked the garden. The floor is kind of slippery. The water got it wet. I hope I don't sli- Damn it. That sure hurt. Need to find the an exit as soon as possible. I have no idea what to do now. The exit, if I recall correctly, is in this general direction, over to the right, and up. Again, this is going to be more of a... Because I've already played through it. More something that people can use if they get stuck. Also, the link is in the description to this game, uh, as well. So if you wanted to buy it... I believe right now it's free, but by the time this goes up, or by the time you're watching this, it's probably not going to be 100% free, which is just fine, because the normal price is just $5, and she's spent, I believe she said seven years working on this game, so it is well worth the seven uh, the $5. I can't number either today. It is well worth the $5. In fact, I would... Uh, recommend you pay a little bit more just to show her that you appreciate the work that she's done here. And now that I've got that sales pitch out of the way, let's continue. I'm not on anyone's payroll or anything like that. Disclaimer. It's just me because I like this game. A lot. Left, I think, maybe? Yes! Go to the left and get this box because it's stuff. You found a key. It has been added to your items. You unlocked the door.
I don't know how to emote this. Who are you? Who are you? Are you here to hurt me? No, I'm not. Why are you freaking out? Nothing. I've, uh, I've been caged here f for one day. I accidentally fell here. Wow, perfect. Seems like we are in the same shit. He will hurt us. I don't understand. I don't really understand. I can't say his name. He'll kill me. Ah, come on. That's just your mind playing games. You really think people like like hurting each other here? Yeah, that's what you say. Honestly, I don't even want to move. Well, I fell, and now I want to go back to my father. He's probably worried sick about me. Or he went to sleep. Who knows? I really hope he did. However, I am trying to escape. But it seems to get worse and worse. Do you want to follow me? It's okay if you're afraid to. Sh sure, but... Nothing, really. Let's just go. Okay, there's one thing about our friend here. You can't walk through him. So... And he likes to appear in front of you in the next room. Hello, lovely saving hat. Get out of my way, lovely saving hat. <laughs> Let's go down the hole. I don't want to harm any of you. That's not what I want to do. This whole mess has a reason. And I will not let you go if I don't get exactly what I want. What? Where am I? How did I get here? Who was that guy? That was... What was that voice that spoke to me? Maybe I was just dreaming. God, this is so... It's such a pretty game. Look at the visuals in the background. That constant stream behind it and the... I think that the music gives it kind of that retro feel. Just the simplicity behind it. But it's also kind of got that... The perfect feel for the magical scenario that this is. It's empty. It's not empty. It's full of disappointment. Thank you. Oh, uh, shit. I go back, right? Maybe. It's empty. Maybe I go through that. Is that a hole? Okay. Uh, apparently I suck. No, it's a hole. Okay. Sorry. Um, brain fart. Go down the hole. It's stairs. It's totally stairs. Do it. I'm just going to dance down the stairs. Woo! Huh? How did I get here? Who was that girl? What was that? That voice that spoke to me. I must get out of here as soon as possible. It's a rope. Uh, down. Rope down. Okay, um... Anyway! I believe I'm kinda running out of time here, uh...
but there was a glitch earlier that later on when you come to this area, the hat, the save hat, would go up the ladder. And she fixed the glitch, but I think by fixing the glitch, she has accidentally re-glitched the game. So I'm going to get a hold of her and let her know about this glitch so that you all don't come across this glitch. And I would rather have to worry about not getting a save hat than uh, not being able to, able to progress the game. So I really hope that this is just something that she can fix really quickly and easily. So I'm going to get a hold of her and thank you. It's been lovely, especially with the interruptions. That's, again, very concerning. I'm going to double check the security of this room. But anyway, I should probably like to look up. Anyway, thank you for showing up for the first official video of my channel. I will hopefully have many more because this was actually really fun. I believe after I got into it, I was a little less nervous. Maybe. But anyway, you're all lovely. Thank you for coming and have a wonderful day. I will see you in my next video. Take care.